Sometimes when designing roads, an engineer will want to put a cant in the road to offset the effects of centrifugal forces on vehicles using the road. This cant is called the super-elevation. Included with Civil 3D are files that assist the designer in doing this, and new to 2011 Civil 3D. There is a wizard that walks you through designing these super-elevations. So let's walk through how to use these tools. First, I'll go in and I'll select the alignment in my drawing. And on the contact-sensitive ribbon, I'll come here to Super Elevation, and I'll select Calculate Edit Super Elevation. I'm presented here with this dialog box, and I have the choice to calculate Super Elevation now, or to open the Super Elevation Curve Manager. Let's calculate the Super Elevation now. I'll select that, and I'm presented with this Super Elevation wizard. Here on this page, I can specify the roadway type, whether it's an undivided crown, undivided planner, in which case I could specify the high side location, divided crown with a median, a divided planner with a median. Let's go ahead and accept this one right here, and I'll select Next. Here I can specify the lanes that will be used on this road. And since this road is a symmetrical roadway, I can only change the number of lanes here. I can specify the width for each one of these here as well. I'll go to Next, and on this page I can specify how the shoulders would be controlled for the super elevation. And here I can select a design criteria file to specify how the super elevation is calculated. I'll click Finish, and you'll see that I get this panorama window of the super elevation given in a tabular view. So here's all the criteria that's being used on the super elevations for this road. I'll close this, and next I can come up to super elevation and create a super elevation view. I'll select this and I'm given the opportunity to name my super elevation view, to select the alignment, I could enter a description for this view, I can specify the layer that this is going to, an elevation style, a specific range that I'm going to be displaying on this super elevation view, and other super elevation display options. Now I know that this blue color isn't going to be very visible in my drawing, so I want to change that. And this view style has that blue color as well. So I'll come here and I'm going to edit that view style. And I'm going to select all of these components that have a blue color associated with them. And I'm just going to change those. All right, I'll just change this to a color that's going to be more visible. I'll click OK, OK again, and then I'll change the color of these as well. All right, I'll click OK, and then, then I'll be asked to select a location for my super elevation view and I'll select a spot in my drawing to place that. And let's zoom up on that. Now you'll see this super elevation view that has all the data and information about the super elevation along this alignment. We can take and select that super elevation view and edit these parameters graphically in this super elevation view. You'll also notice that warnings appear, and this one tells me that this curve 1 overlaps with curve 2, and you can see how that's happening here. There's another warning indicating that these curves overlap one another. Again, this alignment in this drawing isn't terribly realistic, but that will give you an idea of how to use these tools to 
design super elevations and to display them in your drawings.